Ada and mango and cabbage and traditional medicinal plants and herbs and you know all the, the majority of the people in the community who were farming it. There were 350 farmers that had plots in the, in the farm and they had fed their entire families, which were rather large. And um, and then also on Sundays they'd have a farmers market for the whole community. But the farmers market was like the best farmers market I've ever been to because they had people playing music, they had people cooking, so you could also you know have the food that was prepared in the traditional ways. And when you wanted some corn or something, you'd go into the plot and pick it yourself. And then you know say I want these corn ears of corn. So you'd also learn something about how things grow and when they're mature and ready for harvesting and stuff. And it was just so beautiful, it was so amazing, and it was one of the only places in that whole region that uh, uh, was a safe haven for kids to play, because even in the park, which was far, pretty far away, but there was a park down in that area, and kids get shot homes on a regular basis, uh, um, and you know, there's a lot of crack deals and stuff like that going down. So, um, so it was a safe haven for kids, it brought in all kinds of biodiversity, So... Oh. 